Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create and customize the pie chart component. I will also show you how you can sort values, group labels, customize your slice colors, and filter to show only the top 10 results. Here's the clip we're looking to build. It shows the top 10 revenue earners by a sales rep. To start, we're going to choose add a clip, build a custom clip, and we're going to select the pie chart component. We're going to use an existing data source from our library, which is called Examples Sales Booked. You'll be able to find this data source in your trial account so that you can follow along with this demo. All right, so for this pie chart, we're going to select Revenue, column S, for our value. And for our label, we're going to select Sales Rep, column K. Now we're going to drag out our chart a little bit just so the labels get pushed to the right side of the pie chart. Then we're going to go to Properties. We'll select Group Repeating Labels. And then we're going to add a filter to remove the word Sales Rep. We'll do that by deselecting all of the reps, finding the word Sales Rep, clicking Exclude, and clicking Filter. Next, we're going to go to Values and change the Properties. We'll change the format to currency. We're then going to change the sorting so it's highest to lowest. And finally, we're going to add a filter to only show the top 10 results. All right, we're getting a little bit closer now. But as you can see, there's only six results showing. That's because we're going to have to go up to pie chart and select the max slices that are shown. We're going to change that to 10. And then we're going to change the size of our pie chart to be large so that it doesn't have the pagination showing. Now, as you can see, two of the colors are actually the same because there are only nine colors by default. So we're going to click on override the default colors. We'll click on the plus to add a new color. And we'll choose that one to be gray. The last thing we're going to do is change the title of our chart to be Revenue by Sales Rep Top 10. We're going to click Save, Finished, and there we go. We have the same pie chart as I showed you at the beginning of the demo. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the pie chart component. For more videos like this, as well as our knowledge base and community forums, please visit us at support.clipfolio.com.